Hi everyone, this is Nick with ASUS and welcome back to our ASUS North America YouTube channel and today we're going to take a look at the RTAC68U router. So this is our new top dog router, the highest of the high end that you can get. It's replacing the RTAC66U and this one is running on a dual core ARM processor that runs at 800 megahertz. So let's jump right in and take a look at the hardware on the router here. So you can see that it is the same uh, kind of uh, black matted finished design. Um, kind of nice, elegant design. The one fin uh, difference from the RTAC66U is that it does come with a built-in stand here on the, on the back. So it is going to stand upright. You have your three external antennas, so you're going to have optimal reception, um, optimal signal strength. And on the back here, we can see that we are working with, you got your power, um, the power in, you have the power switch, so you can turn it on and off without having to disconnect the cable or disconnect the plug every time. Um, here we have a USB 2.0 as well as a USB 3.0 port. Um, and our WAN port are for LAN ports, an LED on and off for this bottom light if you want to make the room go completely dark and you don't want the lights to come on. And then on the side here, we have our WPS button and the Wi-Fi on and off button. So you can just go ahead and disable the Wi-Fi completely um, if you want to just shut off all access wirelessly. So now that we've taken a look at the physical unit, let's take a look at the firmware, some of the things that makes it unique and maybe some of the new features. Okay, so before we go through and run down all the features in the firmware, let's talk about a couple of the features that are going to be on and enabled by default that are new. Um, so one of them is going to be 802.11ac beamforming. So you may have heard that there's now beamforming included. Essentially what that means is that you're gonna, your router is going to detect where the clients are at and be able to optimize its beams and shape them um, to go towards those clients. So you have better connection, better signal, better throughput. Um, that's going to be enabled by default and this router enables both explicit and implicit beamforming by default, meaning that if your client, the laptop, or the USB adapter that you're using doesn't support 802.11ac beamforming, the router is still going to perform better than a standard router that doesn't have um, implicit beamforming enabled. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about one more thing that's going to be brand new, and that's Broadcom's Turbo QAM. So on 2.4 gigahertz, if you have a, uh, an adapter that is also Turbo QAM compatible, the limit per spatial stream is going to go from 150 megabits to 200 megabits, meaning that the top end, top end 802.11n 2.4 gigahertz, instead of being at 450 megabits, is now going to be at 600 megabits. So that's also enabled by default, and if the client supports it, meaning your, your uh, phone or your laptop or the USB or PCI Express adapter that you're using supports it, that will automatically benefit from the increased speeds over the 2.4 gigahertz network. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at our actual firmware here. So in our firmware, it's very similar to our previous firmwares, um, except for you're going to have some extra features built in, essentially, since this is the RTAC68U, brand new. Um, let's go over some of them. So right here, this is going to be the network map. So this is the first page that you're going to see when you log into your router, when you type in network.asus.com, or you type in the address, which is 192.168.1.1. Um, this is going to give you the overview that you're connected to the internet, um, your security level, your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz statuses and passwords. You can do, change everything from that first page. You can see who's connected. You can see any USB or printers that are connected to the device. Um, and this will give you all access right here from the very first page. Next up here on the left side, we have guest network. So if you have people over or you have people over often and you want to give them access to your Wi-Fi network but not necessarily have them on your local network to be able to maybe see your shared network files, you can go ahead and en enable a guest network for them. Um, this will let you do up to three on the 2.4 gigahertz and up to three more on the 5 gigahertz for a total, total of six guest networks. Next up here, we have the traffic manager. So here you're gonna, you, can, you have a few options. You can enable QAS, QoS by default and then save it, and that'll be it. And you don't really have to do anything else. Um, that's automatic mode. Up here in the top right corner, you can see that you can also do your user-defined QoS rules, and you can do your user-defined priority. So it'll give you all the ease of just being able to enable it versus the very fine-tuned manual control. You have all those options are there. Uh, another popular feature actually is the parental control. So this one's super easy to use. You can go ahead and choose which client you want to add to it. Um, you can go ahead and add them to it and then you can go through and say, hey, I just only want to give them access on these days from these hours. And then you can go ahead and save it. As easy as that. 
Um, another popular one is the USB application. So USB application, um, I believe, is, is getting a lot more usage and interest because there's a lot of things that you can do with it. And one of the things that we've done here at ASUS is develop uh, our server center and being able to plug in USB sticks, USB hard drives, and being able to share those across the network, being able to share those remotely in what we call AI cloud. So with all these new cloud services popping up, people are putting all their files out on the cloud, out on the internet, um, and this is kind of a different option. This allows you to have your own cloud, but without having your files on someone else's servers. All your files are still on your own computer, and AI Cloud essentially lets you access any files that are hooked up to the USB to the router, as well as any files on your home network that are shared on the, on the network. So the router can actually send uh, what's called a magic packet for wake on LAN and wake that computer up if it's asleep. Uh, even if you're on the other side of the world, it'll wake it up, and then you have access to all your files on your home network, that, even if they're on your computer and not necessarily attached to your router. So moving on here, we have our wireless settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, so these are our basic 5 gigahertz, and you can go through the 2.4 gigahertz settings, but what's really cool is here on the professional side, um, you're going to have the same for 2.4 and, and 5 gigahertz. Um, but you're going to have all these, these options here. And at the very bottom, one of the really cool ones is going to be TX power adjustment. So that's the transmit power adjustment. You can actually go through and adjust how much power you're, you're transmitting with. So this is especially useful if, say, maybe you're in a small apartment or a small space. Actually reducing that transmit power might actually get you better throughput. Or say maybe the inverse is true and maybe you're putting the router down in your basement um, far away from all of the rest of the devices, increasing that transmit power power might help break through that and give you a good signal to the rest of the house or to the rest of the apartment. Um, let's go through a couple more features. Um, the one, one other I want to go through that's pretty unique um, and is more of a power feature is the option to do dual WAN. So if you have two different internet connections coming in and you want to turn one of those four LAN ports into another LAN port, you can do so right here. So you can have your fallback um, if you want to be online all the time. Uh, if one connection goes down, it'll fall back to the second connection. Um, very power user feature, small, small business kind of feature, but this is going to be standard on our RTAC 68U here. Um, of course, we're going to have our VPN server, our admin, and network tools um, are really going to give you a, a, lot of, a lot of power user features. So now that we've kind of done a quick run through of the firmware, let's take a look at some uh, speed tests and kind of see what kind of speeds we can get out of this. Okay, so the last thing we're going to show you here today is we're going to run a speed test. And what we're going to be using for this speed test is our PCE AC68 PCI Express card. So this is a 3x3 solution, meaning that it's got three antennas. So it's got three transmit and three receive antennas, which matches up perfectly with the 3x3 router, um, the RTAC68U. Um, this PCE AC68 does support the 802.11 AC beam forming and the Turbo QAMs for up to 600 megabit throughput on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So we're going to be using this PCI Express card. And to do this um, for the speed test, you can go very basic. You can maybe, if you're doing this at home, you can go over your home network, maybe transfer, transfer a file over, and take a look at what speed Windows is reporting for that file transfer, right? Um, what we're going to do here is use a very basic tool. This is called LAN speed test. Um, it's a very cheap license. It's about 5 bucks, I believe. Um, and you install a client on one computer, and you s install the server end on another and they'll basically communicate back and forth and send files over the network and measure the speeds. So what I have set up here is we have the PCAC68U in the computer here that we're taking a look at the monitor of, and the router and a separate laptop are off to the side, and that laptop is acting as the server. Um, so what we're going to do here is we have it set for a 300 megabyte packet. It's going to send it back and forth, and it's going to give us uh, our writing and our reading speeds. So let's go ahead and run that here. Here we can see we already got 540 megabits of throughput writing. And the reading is finishing up here. And we got 445 megabits throughput on the writing. So um, that's not going to fill up the 1,300 megabits that you see advertised as the theoretical max. Everything's going to depend on the environment that you're in. Here we're in an office space in a workplace. There's a lot of other wireless networks around. And then you've got to account for overhead. Um, if you're in a very clean environment, say you're in an actual house and you don't have many neighbors or many other Wi-Fi networks, you're probably going to see a bit better performance than this. So hopefully that's given you a better look at the RTAC68U router. Uh, take a look at the hardware, all the connectivity features, all the buttons, 
um, on the unit itself, as well as the firmware features that are now included, like the 802.11ac beam forming, the Turbo QAM support, which is essentially what allows this router to be an AC1900 router, right? Because you have 1300, mega 1300 megabits theoretical on the 802.11ac, and now you have 600 megabits theoretical on the 802.11n. Um, so 13 and 6, you get 1900, um, and then as well as the performance that we showed you at the end. This has been Nick with ASUS, and if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe.